Jay Ward, we begin tonight at 11 with a lawsuit against Volkswagen filed by people who live in Santa Barbara. The class action lawsuit files an apology by the automaker CEO for cheating California drivers. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tracy, as you found out, this story hits close to home. It certainly does. Just three years ago, Volkswagen opened a major emissions testing plant in Oxnard, and there are many dealerships up and down the coast. Clean Air Crusaders Peter Mock and John German were testing VWs in an attempt to show Europeans that diesel cars can be clean air efficient. Instead, they discovered higher emissions than Volkswagen bragged about, and they took the findings to the Environmental Protection Agency. News that Volkswagen faked diesel emission test results have already led to a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of Santa Barbara car owners. Something internally in the car so when plugged in for emission control, it passed. Soon as it unplugged, noxic nitrogen oxides poured into the atmosphere. Attorney Barry Capello says California companies may be involved. We brought the case here in Santa Barbara because we believe it's a California case. It's based upon a California law called 17,200, which is fraudulent business practices, fraudulent advertising. Our clients are very upset about this. The CEO apologized, but VW could face billions in fines, and a price can't be put on winning back the trust of customers. Kind of nervous that after getting that, thinking that maybe I would be getting, you know, good gas mileage and doing something good for the environment, that possibly that isn't the case. <laughs> Audi A3, VW Jetta, Beetle, Golf, and Passat diesel models built in the last seven years must be fixed at VW's expense. The car's resale values have plummeted along with the stock. And one local dealership is named in that lawsuit, but the dealership said it wasn't authorized to comment. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Yeah, and speaking of the stock, the apology by Volkswagen CEO today did not go over well with investors. Volkswagen shares dropped as much as 23%. Bloomberg reports the drop wiped out $17.4 billion in company value. A scary